How's it going everyone? My name is RJ and today we're tackling something that's probably bugged every Mac mini owner. Storage. Specifically Apple's insane pricing for extra internal storage. Seriously, paying an extra $800 just to jump from 256 gigabytes to 2 terabytes is wild. You could almost buy another Mac mini for that kind of money. Honestly, that's just Apple being Apple, charging premium prices for convenience. The thing is, I've been using the new M4 Mac mini for a while now. This thing is undeniably powerful and incredibly compact. But with storage starting at 256 gigabytes, space runs out faster than AirPods at the gym. Especially if you're video editing, managing huge photo libraries, or even just installing today's increasingly large applications and games. Even casual users quickly realize that after installing your basic apps, media files, and a few creator projects, you're left scrambling for extra storage. Now I've been diving deep into this exact issue and I came across a few solutions that were clever enough to catch my attention. It's actually crazy how common this frustration is amongst Mac mini owners. Everyone seems to be complaining about similar scenarios like 4K video editing, professional photo management, gaming, and even software development, all of which easily eat up storage in no time. And yeah, of course I can plug in a traditional external SSD, but to me that feels messy. It's inconvenient, creates clutter around your workspace, and it can slow down your workflow, especially if you're regularly moving around gear like I do. So that's when I decided to investigate even further. I came across two standout options, the Mini Soul Peru Mini 4 Pro and the Mini Soul Peru Mini 21 8B Pro. And yes, these are both USB-C hubs. So let's take a deeper dive into both. Starting with the Mini 4 Pro, this compact and and sleek stand measures are just 5 by 5 inches, perfectly matching your Mac Mini's footprint, giving it a clean, uniform look. What immediately caught my attention about this thing though was the groove button design that resolves the frustrating problem of reaching behind your Mac Mini to power it on and off. It's a small but immensely satisfying design touch that generally improves everyday usability. But the Mini 4 Pro isn't just about good looks. It also directly addresses the notorious Wi-Fi interference issues some Mac Mini users have experienced. If you've dealt with jittery mouse movements or sudden keyboard disconnections, then you'll appreciate how the Mini 4 Pro helps maintain smooth, uninterrupted connectivity. Internally, the Mini 4 Pro provides space for up to an enormous 4TB SSD, meaning tons of additional, seamlessly integrated storage. No dangling cables, no clutter. Transfer speeds also max out at 10 gigabytes per second, which is honestly hard to differentiate from the internal storage of the Mac Mini. This stand also supports 4K at 60 Hz HDMI output, ideal for anyone using dual monitor setups or just wanting superior visual performance without extra adapters. You also get three USB-A ports, a 3.5 mm headphone jack, and an SD and a micro SD card slot, which is super useful for me as a creator. And then we have the Mini 21 8B Pro, which is a mouthful but personally my favorite. The thing is, this stand is different yet equally impressive. Its vertical design stands out quite literally, it's ideal for maximizing desk space and significantly improving airflow and heat dissipation around your Mac Mini. This is particularly beneficial if your Mac Mini handles demanding workloads like video editing, extensive multitasking, or intensive gaming sessions. The Mini 21 AP Pro, similar to the Mini 4 Pro, efficiently solves the Wi-Fi interference issues once again. It also features ultra-fast 10GB per second data transmission speeds, which once again again is so quick that you'll barely notice the difference compared to the internal storage. Just like its counterpart, the Mini 21 8B Pro accommodates an impressive 4TB SSD internally, providing ample room for large project files, extensive media libraries, secure backups, or even a bootcamp partition for Windows dual booting. To give you an idea of their real-world performance, thanks to their high USB-C connectivity, transferring massive files like a 50GB Final Cut Pro project happens quickly and smoothly, with speeds consistently reaching 800 to 1000 megabytes per second. Now let's talk about cost, and here's where things get really compelling. Each of these stands typically cost around $100 to $150, and pairing one with a high quality 1TB SSD adds around $80 to $100. So for about $200 to $250 total, you get storage Apple would otherwise charge nearly $1,000 for. Setting up either one of these stands is a breeze. You simply unscrew the enclosure, insert your SSD, reconnect everything, and plug the stand into your Mac mini via USB-C. Then you quickly format your new SSD using macOS desk utility, and then you're all set. Honestly, this takes maybe about 5 minutes tops, no tech expertise required. I do have to emphasize though the massive benefits of having conveniently placed front-facing ports, including USB-C, USB-A, SD card slots, and even a headphone jack. Trust me, once you've experienced this convenience, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. 
Another often overlooked benefit of these stands is the improved desk management and aesthetics. Both of these elevate your Mac Mini slightly, enhancing airflow beneath the device and potentially lowering internal temperatures. Cooler hardware means better performance, longer lifespan, and less noise from the fans, even though the Mac Mini is very, very quiet. And speaking of aesthetics, let's not underestimate how much a cleaner desk setup contributes to overall productivity and satisfaction, at least for me anyways. Honestly, these stands make your workspace feel intentionally designed rather than a cluttered afterthought. So here's a quick recap. The Mini 21 AP Pro is best suited for vertical setups, where desk space, superior airflow, and ultra-fast data transfers are crucial, making it great for professionals, creators, or even gamers. Whichever stand you choose, you're making a wise investment. Both effectively transform your Mac Mini into a powerhouse workstation, bypass Apple's excessive storage upgrade fees, and significantly enhance your daily workflow. Whichever one you decide to go with is honestly up to you. Big thanks again to Mini Sapporo for making such an outstanding product. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments how are you solving your Mac Mini storage problem. I'd love to hear your creative setups or alternative solutions. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. And don't forget to flex with your Mac Mini USB Stand Hub Tech.